Hey everyone, TechnoMentor here with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to deactivate your Apple account. So let's get started. So the very first thing you want to do is go over to any browser and then you're going to go to this website called privacy.apple.com. So www.privacy.apple.com, which is Apple's website for privacy. So we're going to go ahead and sign in. And here I'm going to go ahead and sign in since I'm already on this account and we're gonna go ahead into this website now with this website there's a lot of things you can do with your data on your Apple account you can go ahead and get a copy you can transfer your copy correct any data and then you can go ahead as you can see your temporary deactivate your account which will pause activity on your account and restrict access to your data now you won't be able to access your account or any Apple apps or service while your account is inactive keep in mind and there's also the option if you really wanted to completely delete your account permanently, then you would select that option. So I'm going to tap on deactivate here. And after a moment, you'll see here what happens basically when it deactivated. So you want to read through these and you make sure you understand what's going to happen when you deactivate, for example, access to your iCloud data such as photos, videos, documents will not be available when it's deactivated. Even access to Apple services and App Store media purchases, you won't be able to do that. You will not be able to receive any iMessage, FaceTime, or iCloud mail. And again, deactivation, keep in mind, does not mean it's getting deleted. It's just getting temporarily deactivated or keeping your account inactive. But however, it will not cancel any repair or Apple Store order store so if you have made any repair or it's in the process or if you made any orders it will not cancel those and if you enroll in Apple upgrade program you must continue making payments you can see here and then you can resume at any time by your choosing and then other information about the first thing you want to do is you're going to make a copy of your data which is good using iCloud backup you're going to sign out of all of your devices that has Apple account and then you want to review any active subscription, which you can click on each of the link to find a, lot, a little bit more. And once you're ready with that, all you're going to do is select a reason. Uh, you can select a reason or you can say prefer not to say. Hit continue. And then it's going to talk about what will happen to your iCloud storage, which means that if you have, you'll be downgraded to a free 5 gig one if you currently are paying for one. And then other information about services, which you can read through and you will not be able to use sign in with Apple if you do continue that. So you're gonna hit continue and then you're gonna hit reading terms and condition and finally you can hit submit and you're gonna get a way to contact you in the next page but eventually you can go ahead and deactivate your account. Keep in mind you can always reactivate it in the future if you do do this step. So that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your devices. See you guys next time.